What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Ultimate no. V-Man. Go. And uh, this is a pre-recording to me playing Tekken Tag 2. As you can see, with the ways of fancy editing, we cut straight to the chase. Because last time, we were learning how to attack and guard. And this was the boss against Mokujin in his three different forms and me having to learn how to block and attack learning punishers and Mogajin was kicking my ass in like several attempts to get this done right but finally I didn't figure out a, a, a weak point but yet for some damn reason I still couldn't throw worth shit yeah I had the meter about really high but then I messed up and then I missed the opportunity to throw them farther but you know uh, in the second stage of this fight uh, I take on this Mogajin which actually dealt some significant amount of damage but I was lucky to get around it um, and started nah, nah. Yeah, I learned that immediately how punishers work or immediately like the moment your your opponent attacks. So, and I also got a real hell of a good throw here. So, 363. Fight. And this is the one. This is the guy that kicked my ass in the last video before we went off. I met him. Uh, he's tough, but luckily after figuring out how to do Punishers su successfully, uh, I was able to actually lay some serious hits on him uh, over and over again, but that's without him laying a couple of hits on me. So. And I was able to do double the damage if you guys saw that. And with me at my, uh, you know, my temperature gauge went up, taking so much damage out of that, gave me the advantage. And give him a round of toss, which went nowhere. But I didn't care, because. Excellent! <laughs> Excellent! Goes violent. Damn right. You gotta love his assistant. She is just. Uh, she's kind of like. Alfred. <laughs> to him. Always able to make those snappy quirks. Here and there. And we successfully beat that little mission. Which, to tell you the truth, really got annoying after a while. I mean, seriously, I it took me several tries to get that done right. But luckily, I got it done right. Get ready. Ready, ready, ready. I would have done my uh, um, rec uh, recording a little bit better, but you know, I didn't want to show all of it. Uh, an entire video fails, so it's kind of the thing I hate doing sometimes. You know, like, why waste your time when you can cut to the chase? Now, this part, I, I didn't know too much about. Um, well, I knew about, but I didn't learn what the name was. In here, what you're about to see is that I'm about to learn how to air juggle. So. Took me a couple tries though, but you know, there you go, just like that. Okay. And you gotta do it right on the point. So. Fight. I don't know what I was doing there. And that's a combo. See, it actually is like corner, lower corner triangle, then up. I mean, lower, uh, corner triangle, and then constant circle. Or in that case, if you're playing 360 version, it'd be corner Y, 
then B. Three Bs. And this is the part where it got kind of a little difficult, but luckily I was able to get it right. This time it was just punches. So, constant square over and over again, or X if you're playing the Xbox 360 version. Now this part, I think I got stuck on. And it took me several tries to get it right. And he doesn't tell you too much. Viola doesn't tell you too much. Yeah, this is where you learn how to bound. Um, where you immediately smash your opponent down to the ground. I like how their armor falls off. It kind of reminds me of Soul Calibur. Uh, a lot. Which kind of makes me think, if you go through customization, I'm pretty sure your armor and stuff will fall off just the same way, which is something I kind of hate. I kind of hated that in Soul Calibur. I was like, I'm getting tired of getting naked. <laughs> I would like to keep my armor on, please. But, but anyways. Um, several tries, several failures, and several just, uh, painstaking moments, like, uh, when am I going to get this right? I'm constantly just trying to figure out how to do this. Because what you got to do is you got to do the hair juggle, and then with a bounce. Um, I kept doing that wrong. And what you gotta do is you gotta kick him. You gotta combine it with a combo, which is something that he, he doesn't even tell you that. If he would have told you you had to like kick him, you would have been all right. But Violet doesn't tell you this. And here I gotta learn how to do a impound kick. I think that's what they call it—a pound kick or wall kick or something like that. It's just a—it's a mule kick, basically. Basic meal kick, but I get it right. I get it right. See, right there was it, but I didn't hit the right button. Timing is key. There he is. Great. Violet goes. He's so heavy. I'm successfully getting dang, getting uh, everything right here. His assistant continues to be smart and hot at the same time. Okay. I understand. And this is where Paul comes in because he's going to help us learn how to break people through walls. I think Paul's a pretty good character in this game. He's one heavy hitter. That's what he is. In Street Fighter Cross Tekken, he was kind of like a, I would say, wreck a character somewhat. He had his mixes. People said they didn't like him, but they just didn't want to put the time in to learn how to do anything with him. Here, he's pretty. He works well because this is the game he's for. Anyways, this is where I learned how to do a mule kick. That is so dead or alive. I'm knocking him off the stage. Or more combat. More combat started in the first place. Knocking off your opponents all the different areas and stuff like that. That was more of a fatality move though. And dead or alive. Enhanced it. Breakable stuff and all that. It was in Tekken 6, so. I'm not going to say anybody copied anything, it's just, it's just a matter of time for somebody got it, got it right. Took me a couple tries, um, trying to figure out what the heck I was supposed to do. I was supposed to bound him up, slam him down to where the ground breaks. See, I mess up. Ain't no, ain't no perfection here, folks. It's just me playing the game and learning how to play it. Just what you gotta do. This is yet again the same reason why I say it's just people just need to learn how to play the game. I mean, it's tough, but that's the whole point. You don't want it to be too easy to where it lies to you. 
Like, you can do all this and get your ass kicked by somebody who knows everything. So. Pause number one. And we end this section and we go on to the next. Combat's like. Alright, come on, I'm ready. Which I was. And this is the part where I gotta go through it to the entire examination, learning, doing everything I learned. So, that's what I learned in, in this fight lab. You go through the tutorial in chapter 1 and 2, and then, well, not chapter 1 and 2, but in different phases, you learn how to do the moves, and then by the last part of, the, of that chapter, chapter 2, you do an, an entire examination in chapter 3 you be a boss fight, so that's what I kind of learned from it. I messed up here. I gotta do a combo. Wall kick. No, wall kick. And wall kick. Mule kick. And. Get ready, mule kick. Mule kick. I get it right. Fight! It just takes time and learn how to moves and it's, it's all about timing. Timing is key when it comes to this game or any fighting 3D fighting game or any game period. It's just timing is key. You gotta know what you're doing. See I messed up there. I jumped backwards instead of forward. Mm. Kick. There it goes. Perfect. And this is where it got a little tricky here, because he wanted me to do a wall kick to a bound. And I was like, what? <laughs> See? What are you about to watch? See, I just kicked him and that was it, but then I realized I kind of got to understand what he was telling me to do. That wasn't it. Come on, combat. There we go. Fight. Next part. Now this one was tricky. I didn't know what the heck he was telling me to do. And then kind of figured out you know, what you what you're about to see now is a bunch of just just watch. See the bomb is behind him. I thought I wasn't supposed to hit the bomb. And that's what it was. So I just kept slamming him on the crown. I was like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? I was getting pissed off. I was getting upset. I was like, man, stupid bomb. So I was like, how do I approach this? Hmm. Then I was like, okay. Ah, oh, damn it. See, that's what I was like. And I was losing hella health. It was only because of the bomb. And then I realized I'm, I gotta use the bomb. Not no. That ain't it. There you go. There you go. See, then I started getting it. I was like, yeah, gotta use the bomb. See, the bomb is supposed to bounce him up, then do the wall kick. But at that time, I was like, ah, damn. I touched the bomb just enough. There you go. See? Pretty good. Not too bad. A little failure, trial and error. It's not too bad. That's how you learn stuff. God, I want his assistant. Every man needs an assistant like that. Even Violet. Violet's got a whole cheerleading squad. Great. Great. Did it. Combat, it's a new victory dance. And it's just telling you got some new customization. Boss battle. Boss battle. Violet systems. When are we gonna attack the Mishima estate with with combat? That's where I wanna know. Is that 
and yeah, as dancing panda. But why are dancing kumas in tutu? Uh, I don't know. This entire level was distracting while playing this game. Well, at least this level it was super, super distracting. Just trying to figure out what the hell am I supposed to do there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then I had to fight this oversized sumo bouncing ass pizza throwing laser shooting power ranger and I was like what the hell I mean I knew that I had to do air combos but this dude what you about to see is some ridiculous shit cause what they do in customization you can have items that do special things and stuff like that. Like he threw a grenade at me, throwing pizza at me, throwing bouquets, changing my hat, my head, putting Tiana heads on my head, and shooting laser beams. And I thought that was annoying. It's like just getting to him was a bitch. And I couldn't block. I mean, I was trying to, trust me, but some of that stuff is unblockable. And I was trying, as you guys can see, I was really digging into them. Right there, I did a combo. But, you know, I was getting close and close and close. Then he started getting further and further away from me. And then that's when he did that. And then he got farther away from me, did it again, spamming his moves, and constantly throwing hats and pizza at me. I was getting pissed. I was getting mad. I couldn't, couldn't get in rage mode. Couldn't do it. I just couldn't do that. So, the time was up by the time I got to him, so. You lose. Ah, whatever, announce a guy. Luckily, I wasn't going to give up, so. That's not the kind of person I am. I refuse to quit. Even when I'm faced with a challenge, I refuse to give up. I will find a solution to beating this. And luckily I do, so... I started nailing him. And the only problem is I wasn't doing my kick, nor the, uh... What was it, bounce? Just like, uh... A way square. Or X, if you're playing 360. Note I keep saying that because I'm playing a PS3 version. So. Which isn't bad. Because I kind of feel comfortable playing it on the PS3. Like I said before in another video, I said I just like playing this thing on the PS3. This is where I played Tekken, this is where it all started. So. Why change it? Ah. Get up. And this is when things got a little tense, but luckily my tension meter went up and I was able to kill him. So I was like, yeah, but I was like, oh no. I was like, oh no. And then Panda showed up, but then I had to. Panda wasn't doing too much damage to me as I thought it would. At least I got over Power Ranger Boy. And I was just punching it and stuff, but then I realized I gotta do aerial combos, man. Come on. And that kick keeps him up in the air, which is awesome. So, I would have switched it up, but yeah, then I did the bounce move, and then I realized, oh man, that sends him even higher. And guess what? Here it comes, which is even worse. So. I was like, yeah, nail it. Dressed up like a tutu princess, I don't know what the hell. Kept punching them, kept punching them, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just punching, kicks, punching, kicks. Aerial combos are not hard to pull off. 
but it's just depending on the character. I don't think every character is that simple to pull off an aerial combo because I've tried with others. And it takes a certain button here and there, but it's pretty much kind of the same depending on who you pick. So. But it works. That's how you learn how to juggle. Not air combo, it's called juggling. To us, people who know what that is. It's basically keeping your opponent in the air. <laughs> Kuma's like constantly looking up like, yeah, I gotta be... Uh, Violet keeps talking to us. Telling us we did a good job and blah blah blah. <laughs> Giant cat head. And that was it. I think, uh. I don't think I go any further than this. And I got another trophy. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. That's the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. My post commentary. Uh, next time we go to stage 5. And I don't know. I think there's more than. There's probably 10 stages. I don't know. I hadn't looked it up and I don't want to spoil it to myself. So. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And there will be more coming soon. I'll see you guys. Boy, you be man. And I'll see you later.